In this video, we will learn about one of the most powerful features in Excel, that is the functions. Let me delete the cell here in ND4 because we don't need it anymore. And we have seen two different ways of entering formulas. One is using the numeric values typed in, and the other one is using the cell references. And we learned that the cell references is a better method to use because it's dynamic and it updates automatically when the input cells change. This is great, but if I have, let's say, 100 employees or 1,000 employees, I can't keep typing in references, whether by keyboard or I can't point to 100 cells one at a time and typing plus signs. And that is not practical. So Excel, to address such operations, provide us with this feature called functions. So let me do escape to get out of that formula here. And let's start learning about functions. I am in cell ND4 here, and I'm going to click this small icon here says FX, and it says insert function. And I'm gonna click there. And I get this dialog box, which says insert function, search for a function. So this is one way of finding a function and I can actually type in, let's say add, because we are trying to add all these values here using a function. And then I say go and Excel gives me these options here. These are the functions that are related to this word add. And I'm gonna choose some and I'm gonna click okay. And now I actually see the arguments for the sum function. So this is the sum functions wizard or dialog box where we can provide the arguments to the function. So sum function adds all the numbers in a range of cells and that's what this function is about. And it also gives you more information here that you have to type in numbers or information here one by one and Excel will be able to add them. Right now, by default, it's already selected ND2 and ND3 because those are the values above it, but you can change it to any cell you want. Let's say, for example, I want to choose all these eight cells here. I'm gonna hit this button here and then select all the eight cells hit enter and now you actually can see a preview of the eight cells that were selected and you can also see the result of that function in a preview here and here we have 37 which was correct and you can also see here that the formula result is 37 you can click on this help link here to find out more help from excel on how to use this function. Since this is a pretty simple function, it is just going to add all these values that we have. I'm gonna click OK. And there you go, Excel is now given us the formula here, and also it's displaying the result of that formula. And when you see in the formula bar, this looks different than what we saw in the first two cells. This looks more compact, easy to do, and Let's understand what this means. There is an equal sign. As I've said before, equal sign is what tells Excel that this is a formula. All the formulas should have an equal sign. Then we have sum, which is the function. Sum is a function, and there is open parenthesis or open brackets, and then you have the arguments for the sum function. Arguments, you can think about them as inputs, or parameters and these arguments here this is a range here because it says nb2 colon nb9 and that is nothing but this range of cells since these cells are together we can easily select them together and that's why it is a range and it's nb2 colon nb9 all these cells together very quickly and that is 
and then we have the closed parenthesis to close the brackets here and then the formula is complete if we don't have a closed bracket here then the formula will not be complete so now we have three different ways of entering first one using typing in the numeric values then we have the cell references and then we have the function method of creating a formula now let's say i want to actually add the number of hours worked both on 30th and 31st of december so now let's go back and click on this insert function here and excel is saying we already have nb2 to nb9 selected now we want na2 to na9 selected so let's click here in the second number option and then we can highlight and select these ones click enter and now you can see here that there are two arguments to this function now the first one is this range of cells and then we have this range of cells we can add more such ranges of cells and excel will be able to calculate the sum so in this case it's giving us a preview again and it's showing the result is 73 and i'm going to click ok and now here and now here we have the total displayed here and in the formula we can see a small difference now and we have equals the function sum open parenthesis the first range nb2 to nb9 comma second range na2 to na9 and the nb2 to nb9 is in blue color you can see this blue border na2 to na9 is a separate range and it's in green so we can have more ranges like this but fundamentally this function takes groups of cells and it can add all of them together and that's what this sum function does let me do escape now finally we can actually do this in a slightly different way so we can let's go back to function here and we put them as two separate ranges but since these two are contiguous meaning right next to each other we can actually delete this and just select both of them together so you don't have to just select one column at a time you can select multiple columns as well and click hit enter and click OK. And now you can go to the formula bar and see it is NA2 to NB9. Because these are contiguous cells, we can also do something like that. And we can also use this function along with an operator. For example, if I want to multiply the sum by 10, so I have sum already, and I'm going to type in asterisk 10, hit enter. Now this is 73 times 10, 730. So you can use functions separately. You can use functions with operators. You can also type in numeric values if you need, or you can use cell references.